Hey guys, how's it going? Palm Belt Bill Reviews back here again today for another one. Uh, today I have one that is uh, a little bit special, I think. Um, it is uh, Philly Trippel, uh Belgian Ale from... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> it's a it's product of, of, of uh, Belgium and it's, uh, it's from... It's from a couple different breweries. That's why I'm sitting here uh, having a hard time uh, remembering both of them. Um, Dock Street Brewery um, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And uh, also, I want to pronounce this right, so that's why I am uh, pausing for a moment. Uh, DeLuins, uh, Belgium. Um so I hope I said that right. Probably not, but anyway, it, it's from Deleuze Be uh, Brewery in Belgium and uh, Dock Street out of Philadelphia, and imported uh, by Van Berg and De Wolf, uh, Cooperstown, New York. Uh, Eleven point two fluid ounce bottle at eight point five percent ABV. Um, I believe this bottle ran me around. I think six, seven. So it's. It's a little expensive, but uh, it gets a, uh, let's see, 85, very good score on Beer Advocate, and it gets a 3.6 on Untapped, which Untapped just always seems to give uh, around a 3.5, 3.6 average for every beer, no matter how good it is, so I think I'm going to kind of possibly just continue to report on that that um, uh, review uh those, those reviews from, from that particular um, application just because I use it, but um, kind of it's, it's, it's an application where you just kind of want to take each review uh, with a grain of sand, salt, sand, whatever. Um, so I have a uh, wine glass that I'm going to be opening, uh, pouring this into after I open it. Um, so this is a once a one-time brewery, um, or one-time brew, I should say. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, for the fourth time, Philly Beer Week, the longest running and largest week long celebration of craft beer in America, is sponsoring a collaboration between one of their city's own breweries and a great brewery from Belgium. Uh, this year, Brewery De Lewins in Belgium worked together with the team at Philadelphia's own Dock Street Brewing to create a beer worthy of representing the rich brewing history of both cities. So basically, it's a one, one time per year uh this is basically the one time this year that this was brewed, so it's kind of like you buy it now or you don't see it again for the rest of the year. Uh, so I guess that's why that's kind of special, um, but anyway, it's probably why it's kind of expensive too. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Not much of a hiss, but there is... Uh, wow, it's 11.2, but that is filled all the way up to the, uh, the neck of the the the, uh, the mouth of the bottle, lip of the bottle, lip of the neck. So let's go ahead and get it poured. I was expecting this to be very foamy, like a lot of Belgian ales tend to be. They're very carbonated and frothy. Um... I can smell it from here, uh, so it is definitely carbonated, that is for sure. There's a lot of uh, bubbles streaming up from the glass. I still have a little bit of natural light left over coming through my window. Um, and through that pour, it is definitely a very hazy, kind of a uh, straw, light golden yellow with a lot of, a lot of bubbles sticking to the side of the glass and streaming up everywhere. Um, got a one finger white head on that. I'm gonna pop this light on just for a little bit more light for me and for you guys. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see it now in, in this light a little bit better. It's a little bit more deeper gold for me, but uh, it just looks like almost like a honey yellow on the camera, but it is a definite, let me move it further from the light and that might help yeah, whatever uh, so yeah it's a <coughs> white head <coughs> um, yeah just a white frothy head one finger 
So it has a very um, grape-like smell, like white grapes. Very tart. Not too, too yeasty. Uh, I'm uh, actually not getting a whole lot of yeast at all. Very uh, white wine in quality, though. It's uh, it's very tart. It's It's got that fruity grape smell. I'm trying to see if I can... No, I'm not really getting any. I'm not seeing any particulates, but it's so hazy. I'm sure they're in there. Uh, so yeah, very tart, very uh, wine like white wine like smell. I think it is classified as a just Belgian ale. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go with the uh, flavor. Very sweet on the front, on the on the beginning sip. Very sweet. Um, it was kind of like just very sweet malts. Not really getting any like of the Belgian yeast flavors, like uh, you know the banana clove and all that. Not really getting that, but there's a tartness to it. It's got a tart flavor. Like I said, no. <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said, no banana, clove, or any of that kind of stuff that you would get from um, from uh, you know a lot of Belgian ale yeasts. It's very tart though. Like uh, I think uh, like grape skins. Maybe a little bit of hops. All right, sorry about that, guys. My uh, camera crapped out, crapped out on me for some reason. But anyway, it's fine now. As I was saying, uh, there's not really any of those tropical Belgian yeast uh, flavors to it. It is mostly um, just a very. It's a very dry Belgian style. Let me say that. It starts out very, very, uh, very sweet on the front with like um, sweet malt. Um, it's an Abbey style Belgian ale, I believe. Uh, let's see, Rising Star, create a local flavor, Philly Triple brewed in Belgium. Well, I, I remember reading somewhere that it was a, it was an Abbey style ale. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it just it has um, kind of a flavor like uh, was there's a. Uh, type of Belgian ale, a line of Belgian ales called Mons or something like that. Mons, M-O-N-S. And it uh, tastes comparable to that, at least on the finish. Or the, excuse me, the uh, start. So then it just, but then it gets really uh, towards the middle and end. It gets very bitter, very dry. Uh, or not really bitter, but more tart. Dry and tart. Like I was saying um, before, the camera crapped on me, uh, crapped out on me. Um, it uh, it has just like a taste of like uh, like uh, white grape skins, like great, like it's got that tartness to it. Um, so it's kind of like white grape skins, sweet malt. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if they, I'm sure they use some sort of wine yeast or champagne yeast or something like that for this. So very wine-like in flavor. The mouthfeel is, um, like I said, dry, uh, fairly carbonated. Um, it's got kind of a light to medium mouthfeel. Um, the body is light to medium. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's pretty good uh, for a. Uh, it's different for a Belgian style. Um, I usually prefer. Those, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, kind of sweeter, tr more tropical, uh, types of Belgian ales with the banana and clove and kind of the bubblegum flavors that you get from a lot of those, uh, Belgian yeasts. But this one is, uh, is very dry for sure. Um, so if you like kind of like a white wine type of flavor, uh, I definitely, uh, recommend trying to pick this one up if you can find it because as I said, once it's out of, once it's off the shelves, um, that's it for this year.
but it said for the fourth time uh, brewing, so it's probably going to be brewed again next year and just be a limited supply. So I will give this one, uh, I think, uh, you know, for the style and everything like that, it's a dry Belgian ale for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with an A. Uh, probably actually an A plus for the style. I think it's really fantastic for what it is. Um, for me, I prefer my Belgian ales, like I said, a little bit sweeter, a little less dry, um, and with more of those sort of tropical sort of Belgian yeast flavors, which is uh, not so much happening with this. And I don't really see a whole lot of sediment at all in the bottom, so I'm not going to really get any yeast or anything from it. Uh, it's a pretty just hazy yet it's there's got to have been there's, there's had to been some sort of filtering uh with it um because there's no there's no sediment in the bottom so uh for me the the just for my tastes it's it's an a but for the style i think it's an a plus it's very it's a very good um uh dry belgian ale uh, so again, if you can find it, then I, I recommend I, I highly recommend picking it, picking it up and trying it. It's a little expensive, as I said, but uh, I think it's worth it just to try since uh, it's you know a limited uh, release. So, with that, guys, um, hope everyone had a great Halloween, and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.